Hey guys, plant series time. Now we're, today we're talking about the henbit dead nettle. Henbit dead nettle is another one of those common yard weeds that is actually a superfood that we should be eating instead of killing with toxic pesticides. Okay, and this thing is packed with nutrients. It's completely edible from top to bottom, right? And you can see. It's got these little purple flowers on top. It's commonly mistaken for purple dead nettle, which looks similar, but has a different leaf structure. But you can see here, the henbit dead nettle has leaves up here, and then it's got a space, and then it's got leaves here. That is one of the key things about henbit dead nettle that's different from purple dead nettle, or dead nettle in general. It's kind of got a square stem, and it's got these leaves that come out, and you can see it's not very fuzzy, whereas purple dead nettle has a lot more fuzz on it. Um, another one is uh, ground ivy is often mistaken for henbit dead nettle and purple dead nettle, right? That All three of them look very similar, but they're, uh, there's no worries because all three, right, henbit dead nettle, purple dead nettle, and ground ivy are all nutritious and edible, right? Now, this thing has also dozens and dozens of medicinal uses. And I'm going to read a little bit to you from my blog post that I just did. If you want to read more about this plant on my blog, you can go to the link in my profile and go to the uh, Evade and Survive blog, and you can read this. <clears throat> but this is a member of the, the mint family. And uh, like I said, it's a common yard weed. People uh, go out of their way to uh, wipe this thing out when we should be eating it because it's a superfood, right? It's uh, packed with uh, iron, all kinds of vitamins and minerals, and uh, fiber, right? And <clears throat> it was introduced to North America from Europe, and it's found all over the world, but uh, it's native to, uh, you know, like Europe and uh, Asia, and... Um, Tons of medicinal uses. And uh, this thing was also used as feed for chickens and other livestock, right? That's where it got its name, hen bit, is from being basically chicken food, right? Hen food. And um, so it's, it's a really cool plant. The whole thing is edible. You can make teas and poultices with it. You can make all kind of, uh, they have recipes for this thing. And it's just out of control, but hen bit dead nettle.